Revelation chapter 15, verse 1. I saw in heaven another great and marvelous sign, seven angels with the seven last plagues. Last, because with them God's wrath is completed. Now, let me tell you about angels in Revelation. Angels in Revelation are not angels that are familiar to us from Hallmark postcards. Angels in Revelation are not those, you know, fatty, smiling children with big cheeks. Not, you know, our guardian angels who are looking down to save us. Angels of Revelation are very different and they basically have three functions. The angels of Revelation adore God. Number two, they control nature and they can also initiate some natural disasters. And finally, angels in Revelation are instruments of destruction. And this is one of the reasons the book was so controversial. So the angels are associated with violence and destruction in the book of Revelation. But in the medieval art, we do not see those angels. We see nice spiritual beings who are involved in some kind of uh, activity that does not seem to be violent. Generally speaking, medieval art, as you may know, since it was sponsored by the church, followed exactly in the, in the spirit and the letter, the teaching of the church. And therefore, in medieval art, we see a pretty straightforward, literal illustration, spiritual illustration, what they would call illumination, of certain passages without any artistic freedom. So here is the angel. Angel cast the millstone into the sea. This is 13th century source. Revelation chapter 19, verse 17, 18. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. This is one of the rare instances when, you know, the angel is not destroying anything, but uh, is controlling nature, standing in the sun. Who cried in a loud voice to all the birds flying in midair, come gather together for the great supper of God so that you may eat the flesh of kings, generals, and the mighty of horses and their riders and the flesh of all people free and slave, great and small. So this is the angel standing in the sun, 8th century source, our earliest source from uh, the book of the Spanish monk.